there are a few steps you'll need to take before you start collecting samples. The first is informing staff, parents, and guardians. You must notify them at least five days before you start collecting samples, in writing or by email. You can use the health department template to draft your letter. Just replace the highlighted sections with your own information. The letter should explain your scheduled sample collection week, why you're being asked to test, the health effects of lead, how you will notify parents, guardians, and staff about the results, and how you will respond to the results if they are at or above the action level. You'll also need to include an informational sheet about lead poisoning in children with the letter. You can find both documents on our website. They are also available in nine languages. For licensed child care programs operating in a school, including preschool and after school programs, please see our website for additional guidance on the lead testing process. Follow the collection instructions that come with your sample bottles. You'll need to collect samples from all taps used for drinking, cooking, food prep, brushing teeth, and preparing formula bottles, including water fountains and sinks in kitchens and classrooms. Start sampling closest to where the water enters the building from the service line. For each sample, you'll use a 250 milliliter plastic bottle that was sent to you from the laboratory. You'll start with a first draw sample, the first water to come out of the faucet or fountain after eight to 18 hours of inactivity. It's easiest to take this sample first thing in the morning before you start using the water for the day. Don't collect water samples the day after a weekend, holiday, or vacation. Don't touch the mouth of the bottle or the inside of the cap and don't rinse the container. Don't remove any aerators or strainers from the faucet. Place the open sample bottle under the faucet and slowly turn on the cold water. Bring it to a normal flow rate, similar to how you would fill a glass of water, up to the sample line. Don't let any water go down the drain. Turn off the water and screw on the cap tightly. You'll need to take all first draw samples at all taps before taking the flush samples. You'll follow the same steps to take flush samples which tests water that comes from further upstream in your building's plumbing. This time, you'll run the water for 30 seconds before taking the sample. Remember that if you have a combo water fixture like these, you'll need to collect three samples, a first draw sample for each tap and one flush sample from one of the taps. You can take the flush sample from the tap that is easiest to flush for 30 seconds. Follow the return shipping instructions that came with the sample bottles to send your samples back to the lab.